The Lenovo Tab 410 Plus is a very interesting Android tablet starting at 299 euros that offers pretty nice specs and up to date software but how good is the performance especially compared to the competition? That's what we will find out with this gaming and benchmark test. <laughs> Like usually I played a couple of games on the Lenovo Tab 410 Plus, obviously simple games like the Little Fox run very smoothly and without any problems, that's to be expected. More high end games like Dead Trigger 2 run surprisingly smooth as well, I even pushed the graphics settings to its maximum and didn't encounter any lags while playing it for a couple of levels. The graphic itself looks quite nice on the 10.1 inch Full HD screen, a higher resolution would have been nice too though. I also tried Asphalt Extreme and could play it without any big lags. Now and then you might see some very, really very small stutter, but overall I did enjoy playing this racing game a lot here without any real noticeable issues. The same goes for Modern Combat 5 with the highest graphics settings. I did notice one lag, but it was just one. Most of the time it did run very smoothly. Lenovo is not marketing the Tab 410 Plus as a gaming tablet, but as you can see even high-end games run pretty nicely. That's to be expected because internal hardware is not high-end but upper middle class. Inside runs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625, at least 3GB of RAM and a 16GB of internal storage. The 6GB storage might be a bit small if you want to install a lot of games. Lenovo is offering a version of this with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage though. The performance should be a bit better than on my version of it. Let's take a look at a couple of benchmarks. The results are not surprising because we did see a couple of devices with the Snapdragon 625 already. It's good but not the fastest either. In Geekbench 4 the Lenovo Tab 410 Plus gets 870 and 4250 points. With Antutu it gets a benchmark result of 62400. As you might have guessed the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 is a lot better but it costs roughly twice as much. What's quite interesting though is that the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Plus is better in the Geekbench 3 single core test and in Antutu. The prices have dropped here and both cost roughly the same. The Asus ZenPad 3 S10 is a bit better in Geekbench 4 as well but a lot better in Antutu. With both competitors you are getting a better build quality and a higher resolution display. So is the Lenovo Tab 410 Plus a good gaming tablet? Well, the performance is nice and you are able to play games like Dead Trigger 2 or Asphalt Extreme quite nicely. It might not be the best value for your money though if you want to get as much performance as possible. Depending on where you live, the Yoga Tab 3 Plus and Asus Zenbet 3 S10 might be priced very similar. Both offer a bit better performance, a bit more storage and a higher resolution display. Alright, this is my gaming and performance test with the Lenovo Tab 410 Plus. If you have any questions, just write them down below in the comments. I'm NJ for mynexttablet.com. Thanks for watching.